You guys ever see the movie Virus with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis where they uh, find that uh, abandoned ship, highly technologically advanced uh, ship out in the middle of the ocean, their salvage crew, they come upon it. And, uh, you know, the captain of the salvage crew, he's old school. So they're on this ship and then they get it started up and it's all computerized. And they're looking at the computer screen and the captain's like, I don't know much about computers, but that's an anchor. It's a picture of an anchor flashing on the screen, and then the anchor drops. So let me ask you people something. We have a report earlier in the week that there's going to be two near-Earth orbit... Uh, what do you call it? Near-Earth objects flying by. And then we have a report last night that there's been a massive explosion in California... And the mainstream media feeds it to us just like 9-11. Oh, it was a gas line. I've seen gas lines explode. Gas lines explode level one, two, maybe three houses. But when you have, what is it? What's, what's the last count? I keep changing the numbers. 150 homes destroyed or damaged. A whole neighborhood leveled. Are you kidding? I'm going to give you my opinion, and of course this is my opinion, it's just speculation, because, you know, I don't own any really expensive telescopes, and I can't tell you for sure, but uh, 2010 RX-30 and 2010 RF-12, the two uh, bodies, if you will, near Earth collision objects, one, 0 0.6 lunar distances, that's the distance between the Earth and the Moon, the other, 0 0.2 lunar distance, flies by us on September the 8th. On September the 9th, we have a massive explosion in California. Now, maybe I'm just a moron. Maybe I can't put two and two together. Maybe I think Building 7 fell because it was on fire. Yes, that's it. I know I'm not the only one that can see this. Smoke Joe Trainer hinted on it uh, in a short video that he put out today. And I've been sitting here watching this media coverage the whole time. You know, last night the Intel Hub did an impeccable job. If you guys aren't subscribed to Not For Sale to New World Order here on uh, YouTube, I'll put a link to their channel. That's also the IntelHub.com. Same people run it. They did just a fantastic job of putting information out yesterday evening, and I'm watching Fox News and CNN, and they're barely covering it. They're much more worried about whatever the hell's going to go down in Florida with, with, the, with the Quran burning or whatever nonsense. I'm not even going to get into that bullshit. They're, they're much more worried about that than they are a whole neighborhood that just disappeared in California. Well, you know, that's the mainstream media for you. And I don't buy this shit for one second that a gas line exploded and took out a whole neighborhood. Give us a break. <laughs> I think, just my uh, hypothesis, if you will, a meteor hit the earth in the middle of a neighborhood. Just so happened to hit a gas line, supposedly. Did you guys watch all the footage? Did you see how hot that was? An entire neighborhood just evaporated? Because of a gas line? Are you fucking high? Well, it appears things are starting to fall from the sky. At least that's what I see. You know, And I'll put the link to this uh, near-Earth near -earth, uh, collision... What is it? A recent, up, recent and upcoming Earth asteroid encounters. 0 0.2 lunar distance. I mean, that's that's not very far. <sighs> Who's to say the calculations are right? No, I, I think I, I think a, a rock fell from the sky and uh, exploded in the neighborhood. You know, because the FAA said there's no planes missing. It wasn't a plane crash apparently. And I wonder why the NTSB. Why the fuck is the NTSB 
out there. If it was a natural gas explosion, is it normal for the National Transportation Safety Board to be investigating it? I mean, I can see why the FBI is there, because it's, it's a big-ass incident. But the NTSB, I, I, don't, I don't understand that. National Transportation Safety Board implements to me that something must have been traveling. <laughs> you know? But maybe I'm just looking too much into it. Anyway, I'll put some links below. You know, that's what I think. And tomorrow's the anniversary of 9-11. I don't, uh... I don't know if I'm making a video. You know, I don't know how many more times I could say, Hey, 9-11 was a fucking inside job! You know... People don't seem to want to hear that. The only people that want to hear it are people that already know it. Uh, no one, no one else seems to care. You know. God bless Richard Gage and architects and engineers from 9/11 Truth for everything they've done and what they continue to do. I don't know, maybe they'll wake a few more people up. That's all I got for now. You guys be good.